everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't guessed by the title, today I'm going to be showing you a Sephora haul. I know I've only recently just done one of these, but um, Sephora Sydney did recently just open. I've been twice now and I have purchased two things, so I'll show you that in this haul as well. But anyway, let's get into the haul. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up is the Dior Skin Star Studio Makeup Spectacular Brightening Weightless Perfection with Sunscreen. Now this is a foundation. This is what the bottle looks like. It's the classic Christian Dior um, foundation packaging. Super lovely. It's very, very heavy. You can tell that it is a very, very expensive foundation because it does have the weight of it. Um, I haven't used this yet, but I'm super, super excited to. I bought mine in the shade 021 if you're curious. I did pick up quite a few skincare products. The first one that I chose was the Carrez Greek Yogurt Advanced Nourishing Sleeping Facial for all skin types. This is what the box looks like. I've used this once and no joke, my skin felt amazing when I woke up. My skin felt so good and so moisturized. That's what the product looks like in the jar and that's what it looks like inside. It's just a white creamy thing. Smells a bit funny, but like I'm willing to put up with it. It made my skin feel amazing. And I love those sleeping facials. I don't know why, but I just love them. I want more. Just to repurchase, I picked up the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Thought I may as well get it for 20% off considering this is very, very expensive. I buy the 50 mil and I find that one of these bottles lasts me the good part of a year. Um, I don't use it every day, but I do use it quite frequently, at least three times a week. And I do find that one bottle lasts me a tiny bit over a year. So I love this stuff. It's great. I'll continue to repurchase it until I find something better. This I am so excited to try. It was sold out for the longest time and then it just came back for the 20% off sale. So I was like, win. Um, this is the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour kit. It comes with a brush, which I think is very, very nice because not I don't think any contour kit on the market besides this one actually comes with a brush or at least a permanent contour kit that comes with a brush. And then it also comes with a palette, which is very, very nicely packaged. It has this plastic that you peel off. Oh, the satisfaction of that. <laughs> um, and then inside, if I can open it, you have a nice mirror. And then you also have a card that shows you where to contour. This does peel off if you know how to contour or you just want the full size mirror. And then you also have three colors. So one is a highlight, a bronzer, and a contour, which I think is very, very handy. And it even tells you on the back that it is those. These are all matte. So yeah. I picked up two Bite Beauty lipsticks. I actually don't know why I picked these up. So I picked up one in the shade Tannin. It's really, really annoying how there's not the N, um, the G on the end. It's just Tannin. This is what the packaging looks like. I think it's the most bizarre packaging. Like, look at that. And that's the color of it there. The color looks very, very gorgeous. And then the other one I picked up, I don't even know I picked up this color. This is called, oh, this is called Vento. This color is very, very unlike me to buy. And I have put this on my lips and I don't like it. It's very, very sheer and I'm not a big fan of sheer, but maybe it will be a nice one for work. This is the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. I picked mine up in the shade G30. I haven't even swatched this yet. I've been wanting this moisturizer for the longest time because of the packaging. The packaging just looks so luxurious. Like, look at it. Look at it. It's just great. So I did pick it up and I had to keep the box because it doesn't actually have what it's called on the bottle or the container. This is from L'Occitane and it's their Ultra Cream Rouge Visage Ultra Rich Face Cream with 25% Shea Butter. I've been using this quite regularly, not every single day, but I love this stuff. It makes my skin feel like a baby's butt. It feels so soft, so soft. I love it. If you, if you have dry skin and you want a moisturizer, I would definitely recommend this one because it is great. Sorry, my hair was annoying me, so I had to pin it back. Whew. Anyway, I picked up another bottle of the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I really, really like this foundation. I decided to pick up a darker shade just because I do like fake tanning. So I picked up the shade N123, I believe. Yes, 123. I kind of just guessed it on the website. And I wore it yesterday. It's a very nice match. Um, yeah, 
I may as well talk about the two things that I bought from Sephora in store. So the first thing that I purchased on my first trip was the Bite Beauty Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Glace. No joke, the packaging is so dodgy. Like, look, the glue has, like, unadhered and the box literally unravels. Can you tell I got the last one? Like... But I just thought this was the most beautiful colour, well at least the nicest colour out of the ones that they had. This is like the typical Kylie Jenner colour, which I personally like. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. I like it way better than those stupid lipsticks. Just because I do like a more pigmented lip product, I don't really like the sheer lipsticks. I love pigmented, matte or satin lipsticks. That's what I love. And then the next thing that I picked up in store at Sephora is actually the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. Um, I was in the city getting ready for my friend's birthday. We got a hotel and I basically forgot a primer. Like I realized on the way there that I forgot a primer. So I went to Sephora, picked up this. This is highly, highly inflated. If you want Tarte, get a forward shipping service. Like the amount of money that, like I think this was double what it is in store. I mean, in the States, double. Mm. Also from Makeup Forever, I did get the Super Matte Loose Powder. I got mine in the shade 12. I didn't even know they had shades. But anyway, it says 12 on it. That's what the product inside looks like. It does have a little puff on top. It looks really, really finely milled. And you only get 10 grams, which sucks. Because my Face of Australia one has 30 grams. So, yeah. Hopefully, this is like really good because it was really expensive mm. so the next thing I purchased was an eye palette this one's from Stila this is called the eyes are the window shadow palette and it's in the shade spirit or the style spirit it's one of those ones that look like this so this is what the product the colors look like inside love the colors on the inside but it sucks that my packaging broke like can you see that random bit that's like missing well, it's broke, which sucks. Sucks. But I'll try and fix it with super glue. Another foundation. Are you getting sick of foundations yet, guys? This is the Laura Mercier or Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid in the shade Macadamia. It's one of the ones that you shake up and it's apparently super liquidy. Haven't tried it yet. Don't even know if it's going to match me. I kind of just bought it on a whim. So let's hope it's good because this was expensive. I got the Origins Ginseng Facial Moisturizer. I really, really like this. It smells like Fanta. <sighs> like it actually smells like Fanta. I'm not even kidding you. Um, it's super, super nice. Absorbs into the skin super, super easily. Doesn't have any SPF, but it's super, super hydrating. I'd recommend it if you're wanting a good facial moisturizer. And is Origins the brand that tries to be organic? I'm not too sure. Again, from Makeup Forever, I did pick up a contouring kit or this is actually called the sculpting kit. I've got mine in the number two style. Basically, it comes with a matte highlight and a matte contour. My highlight shade got a random oil film on it, which I'm not impressed about, but the contour shade is really, really good. And it does come with a full-size mirror as well, which is very, very nice. If you're on the go, it's great. Okay, so I did pick up two exfoliators. One of them is repurchased. This one's from Clarins. It's their one-step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. Looks like this. I love this stuff. It's great. I have one in my shower at the moment. I've probably got maybe a few more uses out of it and then it's done. And then I'm onto this. It's great. I love it. It's not too abrasive. It's just enough to actually feel like it's actually removing the dead skin cells off your face. So I absolutely love this. It's great. And then a new one to try. I got the Fresh. Oh, I don't know how to say this one. But it's their mattifying face exfoliant. I thought this would be great for the summertime, considering I'll be a bit more oily than normal. I also picked up a bottle of the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation in the shade 3.5 Warm Beige. It's what I have on my face today. It's the first time I've ever worn it. And I really, really like how it looks. It's probably not as good as my X one, but it is a nice one to kind of rotate in my foundation. Rotation. I decided to pick up another pot of my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This time I decided to pick it up in the shade Medium Brown because they recently released more colours into the range. So if you did 
try it before but there wasn't a right color match for you go back and check because they have released more this is what medium brown looks like it's what I have in my eyebrows today I absolutely love it it's way better than dark brown which I used to use um, I still have so much of it left but seriously it's too dark like I'll compare them for you that's medium brown that's dark brown you can hardly see a difference but on the eyebrows it makes the world of difference guys I'm not even kidding like medium brown is just like the perfect color for me at least I think it is comment down below what do you think so I did pick up the Marc Jacobs remarkable concealer this is in the shade 01 awake and I just pulled my hair um, it's one of those pot concealers which I generally don't like but I do quite like this one it gives a decent coverage that's the color of it there it's not too creamy but it's not too thin I don't know like it's just a really really nice consistency and I'll definitely continue to use that because it's super super nice the last of the skincare I picked up something from Ole Henriksen this is the total truth eye cream with SPF 15 I realized that every single eye cream that I have doesn't have any SPF in it so I decided to pick up this one I've used it twice I feel like it makes my eye area look very very wrinkly so if I'm gonna give it like another week if it still makes my eyes look wrinkly I'm gonna stop using it also from Marc Jacobs I picked up their giant ass bronzer like look at this it's almost as big as my head this is called the Omega Omega bronzer how cool is that name and I think there's only one shade this is in the shade Tantric and there's 25 grams of product in this guy and a full-size mirror too so that's gonna be great especially if you're traveling it'll give you a decent size mirror to have another foundation that's been on the wish, wish list for a while is the Stila stay all day foundation I got mine in the shade 08 honey it comes with a brush which I think is nice that's the brush I don't own any brush in this shape but I think it'll be great for actually painting on stuff I don't know I just think it's cool and a nice touch this is what the foundation looks like there's a concealer guy up the top and then on the bottom is the foundation I think the applicator is strange it's like a giant spoon it's like oh yeah I'll just have a spoon of foundation thanks strange but yeah I've used it a few times it matches my fake tan quite nicely um, again if I didn't say it before I'm in the shade 08 honey highlighter I love highlighter I love highlighter I love the glow I love highlight so I did pick up the makeup forever compact shine on in the shade three this is what it looks like that's probably a better color match it is a little bit of a yellow highlight it's super super gorgeous on the skin it's not too intense and it's not too shimmery it just gives the most beautiful sheen to the skin I love it another bronzer is this one it's by the brand buxom I'm not too sure if buxom lips glosses actually came to Australia I'm not too sure I'll have to check but this is the buxom bronzer and this is in the shade Tahiti it's a shimmery bronzer it's definitely not a matte bronzer that's the color of it there on my finger it gives more of an illuminating color than like a matte definition obviously because it is a shimmer but that is the color of it there so definitely a lot darker than the Marc Jacobs one down the bottom but I feel like this just gives your skin the most beautiful glow it looks like you're like a bronzed goddess like it looks amazing but I must say the packaging is relatively cheap on this it doesn't even close properly like it doesn't have a very good magnet and it doesn't have a clip so yeah <laughs> another primer I did pick up the amazing cosmetics anti-aging face primer I thought it was going to be like a hydrating primer like the Too Faced hangover primer but no this is just like a silicone primer that actually fills in the lines and stuff and that's what they mean by anti-aging I don't know they should have like renamed it because I feel like if they change the name to like pore filling or like line reducing or something along those lines more people would buy it but because it says anti-aging people are like mm. I bought it because I thought it was going to be like a serum hydrating primer primer not like a pore filling thing but I really like this stuff it's really really nice the nozzle isn't too big so you can get the right amount of product not too much not too little yeah the only thing I do think about this product is the name is a little bit deceiving but besides that I do think this product is really really nice 
One last foundation and we're on to lips. I decided to pick up the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. I picked mine up a shade 2.1 from memory. Yeah, 2.1. And I haven't used it yet. Same packaging as the Bobbi Brown with the little lid and then the pump. Um, yeah, I feel like this is going to match. It should match. We'll see. Now onto lips. We'll start off with the one NARS lipstick that I purchased. This is the NARS Audacious lipstick in the shade Bridget. This looks gorgeous, so I had to pick it up. And I love the Audacious packaging. Like, I don't own any lipstick packaging as beautiful as this. And then I picked up three of the Kat Von D lipsticks because who can resist, right? So I picked up a red. This is in the shade Hexagram. This is just a beautiful, beautiful classic red color. Love it. Motto, Motorhead. I'm not too sure how to say that because it's got the funny O. But that's what that color looks like. It looks basically black on camera. But I'm hoping that it's going to be one of those oxblood purpley ready colors because that's what the little thing has. And then I, of course, had to pick up Lolita. That's what that looks like. I don't know, like Lolita isn't what I pictured it to be, but then again, I haven't used these two before. I've only used the hexagram color and I really, really like the formula so far. If I really, really like them, I'm probably going to buy like all the colors. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so that's all the products that I purchased from Sephora, both in store and online. I hope you guys enjoyed. I bought way too much stuff, but yeah. Comment down below if you'd like to see any of these products in future videos or reviews. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.